Good morning. Welcome to today's Morning Moxie with Larissa. On my YouTube channel, I talk about leadership, business, and personal development. I offer bite-sized pieces of inspiration and motivation to help you jumpstart your day. And today, I'm talking about, again, one of my favorite topics, being a lady mogul. And I happened to read a really good quote today that I felt really summed up what being a multipreneur meant. So I've Karma, I mean, I had to talk about it today. So let's just jump right in. Now the quote, I'm gonna to have to read it. I wanna get it right. It is from Jeff, Jerry Jeff Walker, a Texas uh, folk singer, whom of course I had never heard of, but I'm glad I read the article because I found this quote. And it says, I didn't just burn the candle at both ends. I was also finding new ends to light. Now, if that's not multipreneurship, I don't know what it is, because when we are said to be, when we get up early and go to bed late because we're working hard on creating our dream and bringing it to pass, that's called burning the candle at both ends, early to bed, early to bed, ha, huh? I wish, getting up early and going to bed late because you are really hunkered down to make this magic happen, right? So I thought that was perfectly perfect for describing a multipreneur. But at the same time, the fact that it is so true means that we can, we have to be cautious of not getting burned out or giving up on the dream. <clears throat> now, some things you let go when you need to let go, but if it's a dream that still you still feel passionate about, we want to find ways to help you carry on. And so I'm suggesting that in the beginning, we know it's hard to keep all those balls in the air that we are juggling and have any semblance of life. But I think that over time, you can reduce some of the overwork as you find your rhythm, first of all, because, you know, in the beginning, when you are, when you're new, you're, you're, you don't know everything and you're never going to know everything. So put, write that down somewhere. You're never going to know everything. But when you are creating a business, you are to such a huge learning curve, usually, because there are so many moving parts. And part of that, I think we can address with time management. Now, when I was about to hire a virtual assistant, I knew that I, number one, I was hiring a virtual assistant because it was time for me to launch my membership community. And I know that to keep things moving, I'm not going to be able to do everything. So I wanted to hire help so that I could definitely get someone to help me with my marketing because I wanted to be able to concentrate on providing value to the members. So anyway, I created this fantabulous schedule because what was that? Microsoft has um, many templates and I really essentially filled up every minute. <laughs> so I don't want you to fill up every minute. I just want you to have something in writing so you have some structure that helps you create that uh, helpful schedule. So I found one thing that works for me is, again, so a multipreneur is having more than one business stream. And so it's helpful when you can limit yourself to one business per day instead of trying to work on all businesses every day, because that is a sure, first of all, imitation down a rabbit hole because you start following a thread and you just, you know, you get lost. So if you can stick to one business per day, number one, that helps a bunch. And if you, you have to schedule your time um, and then you also want to leave some blanks in there because you know things happen, sometimes they take longer. Um, so you want to allow yourself some breathing time and you want to not have every second filled out because if there's a crisis and there will be a crisis, it's part of, it's, it's the law. Um, you know, when you have to take time off to handle that particular event, you don't want to, you know, you've lost all this other time because you have everything planned minute to minute and you don't have time to finish everything. So leave some open spaces in your um, schedule. So those are two biggies, one business per day, leave some open time in between events or appointments because, you know, things happen, right? Um, and another thing is that putting systems into place, that's really time and systems, those really are the most crucial thing, honestly. Now, much of your marketing can be, uh, what's that called, automated, right? You set up a drip system on your email campaign or, you know, autoresponder so the things happen in sequence. Once you set it up, you won't have to set it up. Once you set it up, 
you can almost forget it or just check it once in a while. That will be helpful. Um, but the one thing that I did learn when having hiring this virtual assistant, even though I would say the words, I would see the head nod, I wasn't really comfortable. So that's when I started writing down my processes, say, for example, for these videos, um, how they need to be edited and uh, re uh, posted on the particular days. And then there's the thumbnail, there's this, this, or that, you know, the playlist. So there's some moving parts on when you are, are doing a video, for example. And so I wanted to write down, uh, I create a YouTube planner sheet, for example, for that process. And same thing with my blogs. I have I have more than one blog site. And so I wanted to try and keep that straight. This site gets the blog on this day, this site gets a blog on another day and et cetera. So those were just two of the things that I did that I put in writing. I actually, okay, one more <laughs> was um, how to curate content, right? So again, I, I just wanted, I wanted to set everything up so that there would not be that many lulls. I didn't want to lose, I didn't want to lose the rhythm because if I say I'm going to do something, I want to do everything I can to follow through. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to say let people down, right? But I want, my word is my bond. So having a schedule, uh, a system is important. And so part of that system to me is having written processes so that when you have the team, which is the third thing, you can, you have this, this backdrop of instructions so that there's consistency in the deliverables. And remember, no one sounds like you. So you want to make sure that your messaging and the content that you create still has your voice, your appearance and your brand. So that's another reason for creating written processes. And I'm suggesting, you know, if your business gets, you know, big and you want to be able to sell it, you need to have like an operating manual. So you might as well start writing the processes now because it's going to be huge. So I hope you got those three. It was time management with systems and then of course hiring a team. Now what I wanted to go back to the time management because one of the things you have to include in that schedule, and I did, I included it twice on my schedule, I believe, is exercise. You know, exercise. We, none of us have time for exercise. And, and when I'm really busy, like writing a lot, that's probably the first thing that's gonna go. But once you're sitting at a desk, you know, things seem to happen in an unattractive fashion. So make sure you put that exercise on there moment for your health. That's crucial. But then I also read a study that show, I didn't read this study. I read an article that mentioned a study that um, exercise improves your creativity. And I believe that because in, you know, past moxies I've talked about before, when I'm in my open air office, aka taking a walk outside, I'm, that is a great time for problem solving and idea creation. So exercise is really good for creativity. And you want to stay healthy to live long enough to see the, your dreams come to fruition. So make sure you put exercise on your schedule. And then as I mentioned, uh, was similar related to that is making sure that you take schedule and take a vacation. If you don't schedule, it won't happen, but don't just schedule it, you need to take it. That also, again, crucial for your health and your well-being, and you will live longer and your family will appreciate the time together. So a few notes, sure, some of them are common, but I just wanted to remind you, we are going to be burning the candle at both ends in the beginning, but in order to crawl out of that into the bright light of success is being able to integrate your different businesses by using a time management, one business per day, and um, using systems. And you will need a team at some point. This virtual assistant, although he has skills in this area, I already know that I need a different kind of virtual assistant. So these are things that you learn on the way. Let me be a cautionary tale. I'm, let me make all the mistakes so you don't have to make the mistakes, right? And he's not a mistake. I just know I need more. Anyway, that has been today's Morning Moxie with Larissa. I hope that you were able to get some value from our time together. I enjoy creating these Moxies. And if you have a topic you would like me to speak on, by all means, let me know. I'd be happy to do so. As I say again, do please subscribe to my channel because you know that helps. And I encourage you to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of these little tidbits. I will see you on the next video. Cheers.